everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I'm going to show you Mr. Jim doing the water for the chickens. I had I had mentioned that we had to water the chickens, take water out to the chickens one other time and I had one of the comments, I'm trying to think who it was, I think it was Diane, I can't remember exactly. Somebody wanted to see us change the water. so. Today you're going to see us change the water, and um, we'll go to that right here. Well, I need the water taken out, so I'm going to top it off so Jim can take it out for me. This is the size that I like to carry. This is the size I have him carry. I guess I can put it all in. And the thing is, I can never close this top. It doesn't close unless, and if I try to do it, it'll spill. So I'm gonna let him do it. Or I will, I can do it if he holds the bottom. I'm gonna hold this between my knees. Oh, this ought to be great. You ready? And this thing doesn't, oh gosh, it doesn't like to close very easy. It's closed. It's closed. Okay. I didn't lock the chicken door so that you can bring it out. Here it comes. Okay, girls. Water is coming. Here it, girls. Settle down, little ladies. They get so nervous. Here, I'll take that one. It's the one I put out so that they could have it. There we go. Yeah. Okay, I'll leave you this one. You can have this one. I'll take this one. Oh, this is, no, I won't take that one. It's frozen. We'll just leave it. Otherwise, it'll break. Okay, we'll let you be. I haven't gotten my eggs yet today either, which I'll have to do. Oh, wow. This is today's eggs. These in my pocket. One, two, three, four, three, four, five. I've got five on this one and three on this one. It's eight. I have to look in that one to see who oh, I better put in this other pocket. Whoa. Here. And there's none on this side today. Nope. Nobody's leaving that side. I've got to shut this one too. There. Well, this is the eggs from today, except for this one. This one was from yesterday. And this is Mr. Brown's egg. I put a little bee on his, on hers, because this way I know this is the only egg that's not fertilized. The rest of them are fertilized. So we almost have another dozen. You notice the water, where the water was placed in the size of the container and the light that was underneath it. I will put a little video in that will show the um well i'll put the link link in for that video where you can look in 2018 i think it was december 1st i showed the water system how we have the water set up it was with a smaller container at the time because it was really only about five chickens i i think at the time five or six chickens at the time now i've got almost i don't know how many uh, i have 20 something 20 something yeah i have a lot of chickens now but I then before that I, I don't know where that video is, but I'd have to search for it where I show how the water system is actually set up and what we used because I had well, I had been trying to figure this out when we first got the chickens because summertime is really easy. It's the winter that you have trouble with your water. And a lot of people around here. Yeah, around here because we have snow. 
snow and cold and today everything is frozen in fact you'll see me I was going to take in one of the water containers you saw but I left it because it's actually froze to the to the block of paving stone that it's sitting on it's it's frozen to it I brought one in earlier and it was a round block of ice oh excuse me I had two oranges well two two cuties or whatever they call them. They're like tangerines, tangelos. But um, I show how we put the cinder block, chimney block, underneath the water container. And at the time that you, it's in the other video, it only has one of the chimney blocks. Now I have two because I wanted it up just a little bit higher. And a little bit larger light a little bulb. Lo yeah, the light bulb inside. And a lot of people were using heated watering bowls and they're electric which they work great but the price tag that came along with them was a bit much for what I wanted to spend. I didn't want to spend that because I hate spending something and then it lasts just so long and then when it dies you really feel bad because it died. So what we did is I used this, the chimney block and I used a base to a it's like for a ceiling light but it's on the ground instead it's of on a board. It's on a board, yeah. yeah. And you put a regular light bulb in it. What kind yeah, of light we bulb? We started with a 25 watt with the single block in the small container. Yeah. Now with the double block in the large container, we run a 60 watt light bulb. 60 in there. watt, and it's not not a LED. It's no, it has to be an incandescent bulb. Which we bought a whole bunch of those because. I don't it's know how long to we're going to have those around still, so that's what we, I bought a bunch of them to make sure that I would have enough for my chickens as long as I have chickens. And when I can't warm their water anymore, I guess I won't have chickens anymore. That's <laughs> <laughs> what will happen. Or you'll have to break down and buy one of the or fancy I'll, ones. Yeah, I don't want to do that either. <laughs> so, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope if you're having trouble with keeping your water from freezing in this kind of weather, Maybe this system would work for you too. Or you buy an expensive watering, electric watering container. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.